very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. We have got you all the latest news and updates from the blockchain technology world. Crypto Wire, a crypto super app which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has launched India's first index of cryptocurrencies IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrency listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. Pune couple ties not on blockchain with NFT vows and digital priest. Bitcoin rallies to two-week high tracking stocks. SEC delays decision on Grayscale spot Bitcoin ETF raises concerns. Ferrari CEO reveals plan to integrate NFTs, Metaverse and Web3. Vitalik Buterin proposes low transaction fees on Layer 2. Baby Doge partners with German football club for promotional NFTs. US Senator Ted Cruz buys the Bitcoin dip. Myanmar military government gears up for CBDC launch. Crypto investment firm raises $50 million to buy individual NFTs. A Pune-based pair, Shruti Sathyan Nair and Mohan Narasipuram made waves by becoming India's first couple to host blockchain wedding officiated by digital priest Anupakki, who accompanied the couple online by minting the NFT of their wedding vows on OpenSea platform. The couple, who had a court marriage in November last year, cemented their togetherness in digital fashion through a Ethereum smart contract. The couple exchanged vows while sitting in front of their laptops and to create NFT, they used a photo of Bridge's engagement ring with vows embedded in the image. The special token is named Ekatvam, which means oneness in Sanskrit. The couple used to Metamask wallet to store their Ekatvam NFT. The transaction took a few minutes and cost around $35 in ETH gas fee. Recently, a Tamil Nadu-based couple also grabbed headlines by choosing to wed in Hogwarts-themed metaverse. Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, rallied to two-week high-tracking stocks as investors look past more than expected job additions, which confirmed fears that the US Federal Reserve will likely aggressively raise rates. Data released by the Labor Department showed that the US economy added 467,000 jobs last month, exceeding the forecast of 150,000 new non-farm payrolls. Bitcoin and Ethereum, two of the most significant crypto asset values, jumped by 9% and 7% respectively. The oldest crypto asset is up 23% from a low of $32,950, which is touched on January 24. Ether, the coin linked to the Ethereum blockchain network, scaled the $3,000 level for the first time since January 21. The global cryptocurrency market cap surged to $1.9 trillion in the past 24 hours, up from $1.7 trillion. Trading volumes climbed to $94.87 billion, up from $68.72 billion on February 4, 2022. The decentralized finance DeFi added up to 13.97% of the total cryptocurrency trading volume at $12.21 billion in the last 24 hours. Stable coins accounted for 82% of the crypto market's 24-hour volume at $78 billion. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has held back a decision on rejecting or approving a proposal to convert Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into a Bitcoin spot exchange-traded fund. In fact, the regulator has asked Grayscale to respond to its concerns on how Grayscale will head off share, manipulation, fraud and other possible issues. Grayscale is a unit of Digital Currency Group. The SEC also flagged its concern about the liquidity and transparency of Bitcoin markets as well as the suitability of Bitcoin as the underlying asset for the fund. The SEC has asked the public to comment on these issues and given them 21 days to do so, with an additional 14 days for responses to those comments. Grayscale initially filed an application with the SEC to convert its Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into a Bitcoin Spot ETF in October. Over the past couple of months, the agency has rejected Spot Bitcoin ETF applications from Wisdom Tree, 
Krypton, Skybridge and Fidelity. Italian luxury car brand Ferrari has reiterated that it is giving non-fungible tokens, the metaverse and blockchain technology serious consideration. Benedetto Vigna, the CEO of Ferrari, assured investors that the car maker is keen on adopting new technology. He also added that the company has set up a whole department dedicated to digital technology in its retail unit. Ferrari recently inked a multi-year deal with Velas Network, a Swiss blockchain startup that is geared towards establishing the brand in the metaverse. Velas will issue exclusive digital collectibles for Ferrari's Maranello racing team. Velas will also be the official sponsors of the team. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin has proposed a solution to provide temporary relief to scalability issues and transaction fees on Layer 2 without sharding. Rollups or Layer 2 chains inherit the Ethereum network's security, decentralization and liquidity. Butrin has suggested blob-carrying transactions that will help drop transaction fees by five times or more by the end of 2022. New updates to Ethereum could be bundled and added to the Shanghai hard fork. The types between sports teams, especially football clubs and cryptocurrencies is on the rise. TSG Hoffenheim, one of the oldest German football club, has partnered with one of the newest and fast-growing meme token Baby Doge to develop club-specific NFTs as Baby Doge Coin becomes the official partner of TSG. The partnership also includes key promotional materials such as LED advertising around the pitch at all home games as well as other wide-reaching advertising tools and co-branded content. Prices of Baby Doge were up a nominal 1% in the past 24 hours as per data from analytics tool CoinMarketCap. Baby Doge has a supply of 420 quadrillions and a portion of the project's revenue from fees is donated towards animal charities. According to financial disclosure filed on Friday, 4th Feb, Rafael Ted Cruz, the junior Republican Texas senator and crypto advocate, has reportedly bought between $15,000 to $50,000 worth of Bitcoin on January 25th using the River brokerage. At the time, Bitcoin was trading between $36,000 and $37,000. And over the subsequent days, it has risen to a current price of around $41,600. Assuming he hasn't sold his bitcoins, his current profit on the transaction is estimated to be $2,000 to $7,000. Cruz is aligning himself with the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry as the state of Texas benefited from influx of bitcoin mining companies. He has advocated for the acceptance of cryptocurrency payments at gift shops and vending machines in the U.S. Capitol complex. A number of members of Congress, including Democrats Jake Ochilos of Massachusetts and Mary Newman of Illinois and Republicans Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey and Barry Moore of Alabama have disclosed holdings in cryptocurrencies or related stocks. Military government of Myanmar is planning to create a central bank digital currency that will join the CAT as legal tender. The ruling military council believes that digital currency will help improve financial activities in Myanmar, said the Deputy Information Minister Major General Zo Min Tun. The World Bank said it expects Myanmar economy to grow 1% this year after shrinking 18% last year, following the January 29, 2021 coup. In December, Austin civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi shadow government accepted stablecoin Tether as its official currency. That's all in the bulletin for now. Do like, share and subscribe to Crypto TV. This is Ruchi Sharma signing off. Keep watching Crypto TV.